forget to subscribe to my channel and while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos. This block is called Water Mill and it is 12 inch finished. Here is the diagram. It's very simple block to piece and to cut. And here is four blocks put block to block. But these blocks, I've reversed the light and dark fabrics. And I'll be showing you two blocks at the end that are reversed colors. Also, I, when I can, I'm going to add how much fabric you need for one block. And for this block, for each fabric, if you have a four and a half inch times the width of fabric strip, so that's approximately how much you'll need from each fabric, and that will be enough to make one block. If just an estimate, and it might be an overestimate, but it's if you get that much, you'll have plenty to make your one block. The patches are listed here, and we only have two of the patches with AccuQuilt dies that will work because these are some different, you know, non-standard sizes of patches here. Patch A is a three inch finished half square triangle. We cut three and seven eighth inch squares, cut them in half diagonally once for two patches. If you're using patches, you'll need four patches each of the light and the dark. And we're going to use the two at a time half square triangles so we'll need two squares of each fabric. That means you'll cut the squares, but you will not subcut them. Patch B is a one inch by four inch finished rectangle. We cut them four and a half inches by one and a half inches, and we need eight patches of the dark fabric. Patch C is a one inch by three inch finished rectangle. We need cut three and a half inch by one and a half inch rectangles, and we'll need four patches of the dark fabric. Patch D is a three inch by four inch finished rectangle. We cut four and a half inch by three and a half inch rectangles and we'll need four patches of the light fabric. Patch E is a four inch finished square. We cut four and a half inch squares. We just need one patch of the dark fabric. Now if you're going to reverse the fabrics for your alternate blocks, then you'll just, whatever is dark here, you cut that light. I also wanted to show you something that I have been discovering lately. I don't know why it took me so long to figure it out. I usually do the blocks of the day using either scraps or fat quarters. And when I and I realized that if I look at if say I'm cutting the dark fabric, so I look at patch A is three and seven eighth inches, that's what I'll need to cut for that. And patch B, I would need to cut one and a half inches. Same for patch C and for patch E, four and a half inches. So I'll look at this and the, the largest number is four and a half inches. So I'll cut off a strip that's four and a half inches wide. Then I'll cut off this that I need. So I'll go and I'll look up here and the next largest size I need to cut is patch A at three and seven eighths. So I'll just trim off that four and a half inch strip to three and seven eighths when I cut these patches. So I just go like that. I'll start with the, the biggest size, cut those, go to the next biggest size and cut those, and then just keep going like that. And it seems to be saving fabric that way. Now let's look at the fabrics. These are as in the picture, so I'm using, the, I'll call this a dark block. This is patch A for our half square triangles. This is patch B, and these are for the little frames, and patch C is for the little frames, and this is patch D, and patch E is the center square. So the first thing we'll do is use patch A and make four half square triangles. And we're going to use the two at a time method. If you're not familiar with this method, then stay tuned for a short tutorial. On the back side of the light fabric, we're going to draw a diagonal line, put the fabrics together, right sides together, and we're going to stitch on either side of the diagonal line. Here is the diagonal line drawn, and then the stitching on both sides. Now we cut this in half, along the diagonal line 
Then we have our two half square triangles. Press the seams open and cut off the nubs. The half square triangles are done. Now we'll move on to step two. We'll sew a patch C at the bottom of this half square triangle and be sure you watch the placement of the light and dark fabrics because you're going to place it at the bottom with the dark in the upper left corner. And if you're reversing the, these, remember that the dark fabric will be down here. Put it like this and patch C will be stitched down here. Make four of these. Now these units, step two units are done. We'll take the, these and patch B and stitch it like this. Press your seams open. The corner units are done. Now we'll go to step four. We'll take patch D and the remaining patch B's. Stitch them like this. There's only one way it can go because this is four and a half inches and this is three and a half inches. Stitch all four like this and press the seams open. Now these side units are done from step four and step five we just lay the block out and sew it together. We sew the units together into rows. So this is row one, row two, row three. Press your seams open, then sew all the rows together. Here's the block. Now here is the block that with the fabrics reversed. I like the little square it will make down here. And you can see that better in the diagram of the quilt on the instructions. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos.